back to your geek news. Our next film is one that neither of us were that keen on watching, mostly because it just looked like another Ridley Scott epic. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Ridley Scott makes some beautiful epics like Gladiator, Kingdom of Heaven, 1492, Blade Runner, just to name a few. Mm -hmm, true. And since this one was called Robin Hood, and we like to talk about films based on mythos with a built-in fan base, naturally this seemed like a pretty good your geek news pick. Except for the fact that this movie should have been called Gladiator vs. Kingdom of Heaven. And had very, very little to do with our favorite medieval outlaw Robin Hood and his Merry Man of Bandits. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So sit back and get ready for a rant of epic proportions where we discuss Ridley Scott's Robin Hood as a gorgeous period piece mm -hmm. and then how it had almost nothing to do with Robin Hood. A king does not bargain for the loyalty that every subject owes him. Without loyalty, there is no kingdom. There is nothing. I'm here to speak for Sir Walter Loxley. Speak. Speak, if you must. After an epic battle, we join Robin Longstride as he comes home post-Crusades to return a sword as a favor to a dying man. He ends up taking his identity as the familiar Robin of Loxley, and more epic battles ensue. Epic, epic battles. Mm -hmm. Which was actually pretty sweet. I mean, Ridley Scott does it really well, and I personally love seeing ancient battle techniques and strategies played out in movies, like when they use those bomb bladders or bladder bombs during the siege <laughs> against the French. Anyway, it, it was cool it was to cool. see. The engines of war are always fun, but the story here, it's revenge porn. But the problem with it is that every time there's a grudge, no one ever sees it. It's all hearsay. No one ever sees the actions that they're actually trying to get revenge upon. It just did not work at all. So, you know what, regardless of the talented actors, which there were very talented actors, you just never really care about the characters. Now, start off with Russell Crowe, mm. playing Maximus from Gladiator again. <laughs> He's a powerful but soft-spoken leader, heroic, noble soldier, man of the people. Uh-huh, and then we have Kate Blanchett, brilliant actress, but he's, she's playing the epic period piece female like Elizabeth and Gladriel. Now Mark Strong, he shows up playing who he's been typecast to be in the last two years, the dirty villain. Yeah. He's been a gangster more than once, he's been a fake sorcerer, he's getting more and more bald every time we see him. Yeah, and then you know what, William Hurt playing William Hurt from every movie he's ever been in. Pretty much, but at least Danny Houston had some chops. He showed up and pulled off a really interesting, sort of tortured, strange take on Richard the Lionheart, and I really enjoyed him. Mm -hmm. Now, Max von Zito, he kind of just played Marcus Aurelius from Gladiator, but this time he was blind. <laughs> and you know what? Then we have Oscar Isaac playing King John, playing Emperor Commodus from Gladiator. More or less. Now, if you could take all these characters and ideas and mash them up, you, you, you've pretty much already seen this movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a beautiful movie, but let's just see how it did as a Robin Hood flick. For the time being, refer to me as Sir Robert. I'll explain later. My uh, men at arms. This is about as courtly as they get. Alan Adele, Will Scarlet, and Little John, Lady Marion. I trust you had an historic evening. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Lady Marion Loxley, my wife. Well played. A bit, a bit brash, but well played nonetheless. Something we learned the hard way was that this is a prequel to the Robin Hood legend. It's been mysteriously marketed as the untold story of Robin Hood. Now, I've personally been wondering what that's meant. You know, whether it's based on the mythology, maybe? No. Turns out, it's the untold story because it was all made up just for this movie. Yeah, the producers consciously made the decision to turn it into Gladiator 2. It was less about the green tights and more about the Gladiator-like battle armor. Now, the similarities include names like... Oh, Will Scarlet, Robin Hood, Little John, Friar Tuck, Maid Mary. You, with the red hair, you'll be Will Scarlet. Hey, huge guy, you'll be Little John. Quarterstaff battle, forget about it. Oh my gosh, it's true. It really just felt like the actors were just thrown the names from Robin yeah. Hood and had nothing to do other than having the random names. You know what though? At least the main character, Robin, Russell Crowe, happens to be a great archer, like the real outlaw from the 1100s. And... But if you're expecting that cool part where he actually cuts the arrow, doesn't happen. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Although, Mark Strong gets it pretty good. Oh now, the God. elements of Robin Hood sneak their way in in the last five minutes, but the whole thing just kind of feels like a remake Absolutely. of Gladiator. You know, randomly assigned character names. Based in medieval England, I guess that's the big difference, yeah, right? Time and space changed, otherwise, same movie. And then the names are just randomly given out. Now, King John, 
His arc was nothing short of unsatisfying. It was inconsistent, it was unconvincing. All in all, this is a weak addition to the gallery of films that bear the name Robin Hood. Mm. I've gotta say, it's a soulless retread of Ridley Scott movies gone by, rather than being about the long guerrilla campaign against an evil crown that Robin Hood is all about. Exactly, stealing from the rich to feed the poor. Anyway, save yourself the money and skip Robin Hood begins or go watch Iron Man 2 again, because the rest of the world pretty much did. True enough. So <laughs> remember to keep your eyes right here to get all your geek movies and all your geek games from the two geeks who always have something to say. And you can keep up with all our past previews and reviews and have your say on yourgeeknews.com. None shall pass unless they can answer the riddle. Moon mad. <laughs> and what is the riddle, you insolent wretch? What has 18 legs and isn't going anywhere? Your next move will be your last. Evening, friend. I demand to know who you are. We are men of the hood. Marry now at your expense.